So now that we have the buttons done on the bottom, which was like the hardest part of this, we are going to add a couple more buttons and then we are going to be done. So the first thing that we need to do is set a text. We need to set a label and we're going to put that on the left side of the screen. And really, you just have to adjust this to your liking because, like I said before, um, it's going to look different depending on your display and everything like that, your resolution. So I'm going to set it to there and try 65. So I'm going to set the size to 48. And then we're going to stay with this font. Mm. All right, let's see how that looks in full screen mode. All right, so a good test would be to see how this would look if it said like Jason's cards. So that looks good, but one of our buttons disappeared. So that's okay. So that may be too close. So I'm just going to move this up and then I'm going to actually, that is a good idea. You should actually probably keep this fairly long in case someone has a long name. And then that way it'll just take up this space on the screen. So like, for example, if someone's like just they want to put that for their name, it'll be like this person's cards and then it'll just show up on the screen when it's their turn. So that's actually, yeah, that actually looks, that actually looks good for now. So we're actually going to set this to blank for now though. Um, we're going to fill that in when we actually write the source code. So now the last thing that we need to do is add a draw a card button. So like if you can't play any cards, you'll be able to draw a card. So we'll put that like right here. Make this a little bit bigger. And since we know that this really is only going to say one thing, it's going to say draw a card. It's not going to change what it says. We can just write that in already. And then we don't have to worry about setting what it says later. And then we can make sure we like how it looks and we start the game ready to go. So draw a card and that looks fine all right so so yeah set set the font um change it to size have it look however you like but that's gonna work for now so now we just need to add the last two buttons which is gonna be in the top um left so one right there and then one right here So just make sure you go to the top um, left corner, line this up, and then our cards are length 100, and then set this a decent two um, gaps away from each other, size 100, and then make sure the width is default on both of these. Yep. All right, so this button, this first button is going to just be going to change this variable name and it's literally just going to be like um, the down card 
So like the card that's facing down, um, just like to show, um, like just to show like what the stockpile looked like, like facing down or like the stack where you draw cards from. And then this card is going to be the current card that you are trying to figure out what you're going to play. So like if someone just put down a blue zero, this is going to be where it's going to show that. So this is going to be like, um, deck card I'm just call it deck card so that's good and then we're just gonna get rid of the text for all these so oh that's okay never mind we're just gonna see what happens when we put images on top of it and then we have to go back and delete it then we'll go to do that later So now we're going to go back to the source code and we're going to finish running that method we started earlier. So scroll back up, go to populate array list. And now we should be able to add these buttons that we made to our card buttons array list. So we're just, this is going to get repetitive, but we just have to add all those buttons. So um, let's just check the name of those. So we have buttons one through four. 15, 11, 12. So literally you're just going to do um, card buttons dot add J button one. Make sure that works no errors. And then you can just copy and paste this um, multiple times. That is okay. Copy and paste this. That is three, six, nine, twelve, and then fifteen. And then just make this two, three, four, five. Just keep going until you get to fifteen. So that added all of our buttons to our array list. So now we've added all that. So now we need to actually, so now that we've added those buttons to our array list, we need to like set the icons for those buttons. So we're going to turn, like put the image that we downloaded from earlier onto the actual cards. And then it needs to just work on its own, like um, the program is just going to like figure out which card, um, like which card goes where and like which image to put on what card, depending on like its enumeration value. So we're going to make a method called set buttons. It's going to be avoid public method. All right. And we're going to check on this really quick. Okay. So that, that was just an error because I have this brace. So now we're going to set the button icon. So this is like, I had to pretty much look up how to do this. It's really complicated. So I don't understand it that well, but pretty much what it does is it turns the array of Uno cards into a single string. And then it joins them using a comma. So just copy this. It it's like not really important that you understand this. Just know that um, pretty much it turns all of the, or like all the enumeration values, it turns it into a string, into a single string, and then it separates it with a comma. So you do game dot get player hand, game dot get current player, and then you do dot stream. And then you do dot map object to string dot collect. So now this is buffering. And then capital collectors dot joining. And then inside of quotation marks, just put a comma. And then here you'll put a 
semicolon. So, yeah, that is a lot. But pretty much that just does what I said, turns the array of Uno cards into a single string, and then joins them with a comma. And we have to do that because we're getting them as objects. Like, we get the, like, we're getting our Uno cards as, like, objects. And we need to turn them into a string. Um, and it's just really complicated because we're, like, we're getting it as an array list. And then we have to get the current player and then figure out their cards. So this was just the way I figured out how to do it. Um, so the next thing you have to do is get the card names. Um, and we can store them in a string array. And then um, we're splitting them again using commas. So now each element in the card names array is like, it's in its own element each of the card names so now we're going to okay so now we have to go back up to our um attributes so we have this we have this card ids array list that is an array list of strings so now we're going to fill that up and we're going to say card ids with a new array list and Okay, just make sure I get this right. Arrays dot as list card names. And I think we need to import, yeah. So we just had to import this arrays class to use it. So what this does is just, it takes our string array and turns it into an array list. So we've turn an array list into an array. Now we're turning um, our string array into an array list. So we just do as list. And then the next thing we need to do is do a for loop. And this is the part where we actually set the icons for the um, Uno cards. So we're going to say um, friend i equals zero i is less than card ids dot size plus so we're going to go through all the card ids we're going to say card buttons dot get and then set icon and then we have to do new jvax dot swing image icon And then inside of here, you put get class dot get resource. And then inside of here, you're going to put, and then you have to like check your, your, um, your folder. So I'll go open that up really quick. So this is why I said to rename this to images. So all you're going to do is in these quotations you're gonna put um, forward slash images slash and then PNG s slash small and then that's getting the um, the file images that the PNG images that we um, renamed earlier and then you're gonna put another forward slash and then here you're gonna put plus card IDs dot get I and then you're gonna do plus and then dot PNG. So what that does is it gets every card image and then it concatenates the dot PNG to the file. So we're setting the icons for we're getting all the icons for um, each of the different cards that the player has. And then check this. All right, yeah, that's card IDs. And then we need one more for loop. And this is going to be set to card IDs dot size. 